This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of Biblical Life TV. Deep waters to nurture and empower the remnant for the last days. There is a power that is about ready to be released from heaven to those that seek after the things of the kingdom of God. When it comes to the word of God, there is a supernatural unction of the Holy Spirit to learn. God is up to something for those that will study to show yourself approved. Right now there's a lot of things in the kingdom that God is trying to establish that goes against people's theology. You need to understand your roots, where you came from. God may require us to change what we're doing to make walking in the kingdom a higher priority than it ever was before. We were never called to have a little light. We were called to be ablaze with the fire of God in this generation. Join the remnant from around the world who are empowered by the Word of God to fulfill God's purpose in these last days. God is speaking something different. That is going to be essential in the days ahead, and that's part of this anointing that we have to have. Prepare yourselves for spirit-filled teaching. Biblical Life TV. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Michael Lake with the Kingdom Intelligence Briefing. We've been promising for quite a while uh, that we would share with you about the uh, building that we started uh, on here a couple years ago, as well as a new project. And uh, I'm just going to pan here on the outside. We had to replace a lot of the, uh, the siding that had been damaged, and we did some work on the outside. Uh, but the, all the work, this end over here on the left, uh, it was unfinished. Uh, the church had been uh, shut down and abandoned for about seven years when we purchased the building, so we had to do a lot of renovation to it. And so we're going to take you inside right now and show you everything that, uh, through your prayers and support, we've been able to do. I'll open the door, guys. I'll be the greeter. Mary's been wanting to do this forever. I'm so excited about what we got to show you here. Now we're going to go into the original side of the building, which was this, uh, the original sanctuary. And we have turned it into our warehouse, office, podcasting studio that we do a bulk of what is going on in the ministry. And so I'm going to turn here to the right, and I'm going to show you our podcasting studio. Mary and I are able to uh, do podcasts together here. I'm also able to, with, uh, with the iMac there, I'm able to call in with Skype and do a lot of interviews with people like for the Kingdom War Room. And uh, uh, God has really allowed us, this is uh, literally radio quality equipment that we're using uh, to share uh, the Kingdom uh, Intelligence Briefing podcast. Now I'm going to turn back around over here and this is Mary's office where she has answered uh, emails more than I think we can count <laughs> over the years and uh, we're going to take you now up front um, through our warehouse part And you can see back there the books that many of the interviews that you have seen. I've got that set up where that can be a research area as well as to do interviews for Skype. I do it quite a bit with uh, Hagman Report and uh, Eric Walker's program and many others. Then over here on the right, this is where we produce all of our DVDs and CDs for us to ship all around the world. Let me go back over here to the left. This workstation here is where we uh, edit all the videos for TV and for our YouTube channel. That area up there is my work and research area. And this is where we put together everything that we ship uh, to folks. And we have literally shipped stuff to 
uh, people literally around the world. I think I've sent them everywhere but uh, Russia and China over the last year. Now we're going to go over to our TV studio. Okay, now we're getting ready to go into our TV studio that we set up. And we can seat about 40 people in it. That's one of the reasons why we're needing the newer building. Uh, I have at least 100 more people in the area that uh, have emailed us that would like to come. And so we'll go over here. And the reason it looks so nice is that Mary and Stephanie have done all the decorating. They have not let me decorate anything on this side. I'm more utilitarian in what I do. And that's where our praise and worship team is, our piano. Then this is the backdrop uh, for Biblical Life TV. And I want to brag a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit closer here to the backdrop. I've known you guys have seen it quite a bit on Biblical Life TV. But that stone wall behind there, uh, Mary and Steffi worked a day or more on putting it together and piecing it together. And I thought it really turned out beautiful. And we're going to continue going around. This corner we had all set up for my small when she was able to come. Yeah, we've now had to put her, unfortunately, in a nursing home. This picture over here, Mike, I wanted him to, if you could just come over here to this picture. We got to bring a lot of things uh, from home that we had that I thought would fit in so well in this picture I just loved. Uh, this was one that was uh, given, I think, by the James Robinson uh, Ministry when you donated to dig a well. And so we just got such, everything just fit together. God just brought everything together. It was very easy to decorate. And uh, we were just so thankful for it. It was. I'm going to wheel it back around. We, we tried to make it for those that do come. We tried to make it feel very homey, which is Mary's speciality. And then back here in the back, we have the kitchen. And then the, uh, the bathrooms that we have built in the back. And then we have a, a small room back here for children uh, during, during the recording. Okay, I want to share a little bit about the new building as you saw. Uh, we basically have, especially in the warehouse side, we have stuff stacked to the ceiling and we've done just about as much as we can do in that building. Now we want to keep that building for, the TV, for a TV studio that we're going to do up a secondary TV studio and for our admin. But for the last year or so we kept passing by this building and it was up for sale. And uh, uh, Mary and I shared with you on the last podcast every time we'd go by it, say yeah it's for sale, I don't want to do it, I'm happy where I'm at. I want to go into semi-retirement and God just would not let it go. And like the other building, because they had the other side unfinished and it had set empty for seven years, we got it for a fraction of what it was worth. And this building was the uh, First Baptist of Diggins. And in the sanctuary part, they had a fire in it and all that fire damage has been repaired. Uh, but the inside of it is like an open warehouse. They've not, the sanctuary was never redone. They ended up building another building. Uh, this was about, I think, about six years ago, and uh, it has, uh, the, I think, when we had, uh, we were able to, to purchase it once again for a fraction of what this building is worth, and uh, we have this thing sets on two acres, and there's 13,000 square feet uh, to this, and I'm going to kind of pan around and let you see some of the outside. In fact, this thing is so big, it's hard really to, uh, to get it all in in a single shot. This educational wing has 12 classrooms in it we're going to take you in it in a minute and it had been built right before the fire and there's no damage in it uh, right here there's the you can see this door uh, that goes into the gymnasium and there's very little damage in it at all and so I'm going to take you kind of around to the front and uh, just kind of get a scope of this building and some of the things that we have planned not only to open up uh, for services but we're wanting to have seminars here, we're wanting to have conferences here. And instead of becoming a traditional church, one of the things that God has put in my spirit is for it to be a strategic learning center for the remnant. And so we've got a lot of exciting things that God has put into our spirit uh, for this building. Let's 
go around here to the edge side of the educational wing. So you can see this building is enormous. And so I'm going to go ahead and unlock it and we're going to be able to get inside and show you some things on the inside. I apologize a little bit about uh, recording outside. The sun was so bright I couldn't hardly see the screen. And so I'm really hoping that uh, I wasn't showing you a building that was sideways. This is the educational wing. And really all, the, all we need is to have the carpet cleaned really well and uh, just the uh, carpet stretched. But there are 12 rooms. As you can see, everything is in real good shape that we could use for, for classroom, that we could use uh, for even people hoping with homeschooling, this kind of thing. I'm going to walk on through it because the one at the end I want to show you. Most of these are all the same size, but there are two huge rooms here at the end. Yeah, two huge rooms at the end. And one of the things God showed me years ago when I was teaching on biblical councils, in fact, I'm getting ready to write a book on that. It's one of my, I, I've got a whole archive of stuff that I'm going to end up having to write. He kept on showing me where men and women that were leaders in the room that would gather for like a war council to say, listen, this is what God is sharing right now to us. And the first time I walked in this building, God showed me this room right here for us to set up an area uh, for, God's, for God's warriors to come in and we can set up a conference table. There's, there's really a big area for that. And to just share what, what God is, is speaking prophetically and to figure out what we need to do to help turn this nation around and to help the body of Christ do what they need to do. And uh, there's one just like it on the other side. And then we're gonna go down the main hall and I probably need to go down here and turn on the lights. I probably should have done that before I was filming. I should have went ahead of you. Where is it at? It's now? right there at the end of the hall. You just passed it. There we go. Now you can see it with the lights on. Let me kind of scroll around here again. This one addition, when the uh, church had built it, uh, they put $500,000 just into this end on here. Then this is the gymnasium. This will also be where we have dinners. Dinners and stuff. And it's pretty much unharmed. If you look up here on the ceiling, you can see where there was some smoke and fire damage that we're still going to have to repair. Why this thing isn't focusing, I don't know. It should do that automatically. As you can see, this building is huge. We have lots and lots of room. Now we're going to go into where the sanctuary and kitchen was originally in the church. And any fire damage here has been, has been repaired, but it's all been gutted. And the size of this room, I believe, is 50 by 280 feet. And, 80 feet. and this area back over here, we're going to build the kitchen. Uh, there's framed in for the, for the women's restroom and the men's restroom will be framed out for that. Over here on the right side, we're going to put a uh, little nursery. And then starting at these doors on back is going to be the sanctuary. And from what I understand, we should be able to easily seat up to 250 people in it. When we get it set up, it's going to be set up not only for audio recording, but it's also going to be set up for full television uh, so that not only uh, can we continue recording for Biblical Life TV, uh, but uh, we've actually heard from here the Watchman others that would love to have conferences here uh, to where we're going to be able to bring speakers, things that we believe are essential to help prepare the remnant for the last days that we're going to be bringing in here uh, to uh, not only be able to minister to the people locally, but that we're going to be able to record and put on DVD so that we can get it out to the remnant wherever they are in the world. And as you see, there's, there's going to be a lot of work done here. And 
what God has put in our hearts is we're not going to borrow a single penny. As God provides, we're going to do the work so that when this thing is done, it is debt free. We don't have to worry uh, about uh, bankers or anything coming in trying to stop what we're doing or try to impede us or trying to silence the truth of what we're trying to share. And uh, guys, we got this for a fraction of its cost. And uh, I'm, I'm estimating that when we get the remodel done and everything else, we're going to have a facility that may be worth $2 million. You might want to go to these doors, sweetheart, and show them if you can show out there. We were so concerned in the beginning when we initially looked at it that there wasn't enough parking. But you can see how far the land goes back. Yeah. So that eventually could all be paved. Yeah, and all of it has actually been graveled. It's just kind of grown up because the parking lot has set so empty. But you see there's a fence on, on the left side, and then there's a fence over here on the right side. That all belongs to the ministry, and it, it was all originally graveled that eventually we'd like to have paved. And uh, if you're like me, this the possibilities of what God can do here is just unbelievable. And I've already begun hearing from a lot of our, my colleagues that said, hey, uh, when you're ready to do conferences, when you're ready to do uh, do anything to, to minister to the remnant, let us know. We'll be there. We're ready to help. And so, guys, this is exciting. Uh, it's something that Mary and I know that the Holy Spirit's involved in, that God's wanting us to do. And so we really uh, ask for your prayers that God would lead us and guide us and strengthen us each step of the way.